Hello everyone. Welcome back to the nursery. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Vicki. Welcome everyone. Uh, guys, I'm continuing my painting series on the darker colored dolls. I'm doing this baby right here. Uh, if you haven't seen all of the videos, go back and check out. I I've started this painting series from one. And, uh, yeah, go back and check that out if you haven't seen it. And, uh, yeah, so welcome back to everyone that's been here. And welcome to everybody that's new. But, yeah, I'm just finishing up this head, guys. And what we're doing, I'm going to tell you, is we've got to do one more layer, guys, of that last two coats that we put on. Um, I should have told you yesterday, just go ahead and do two, you know. But I was afraid people would, like, get the baby out and it hot and put it on it, you know, and everything like that. So, uh, I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and do it in a different video. But it's the same exact color. It is... Uh, you're going to take your bowl or whatever, a tablespoon, or no, I'm sorry, a half tablespoon of either mineral spirits and thinner. You put in two brushes, and when I say a one brush, like I, you need a brush, uh, it's front and back of this little um, paintbrush here. And um, yeah, front and back, and then you want two of those. So you'll do both sides twice, put it in there, you know, get it out and then go back and do another one again you'll do one front and back put it out in your center go back get one another brush front and back put it in the center okay then you're going to have one brush of raw umber so that is front and back that's a brush just one time that's our mix in a tablespoon of mineral spirit and i've done been working on this doll here and uh yeah i've done one here to put her extra coat on this would be three coats of that same color just what i told you there i'm gonna show you the difference now guys i know this is a lot repetitive maybe you can see that i'm not sure i hope you can see the difference just slightly darker but that's the way this baby right here has the darker babies has to go guys you've got to take one layer a little darker the next time just a tint darker then another one and another one it's repetitive and right now yeah it's boring but It'll get better when we get on down to the other stuff. We'll start putting on the, um, doing the soles of the feet, the palms of the hands, uh, you know. You don't want to get the th the color on the lips, but if you do, the way I paint mine, it's hard to get around that without doing it. So what I do is I paint, go ahead and paint over the whole doll face, and then I take a clean brush, dip it in mineral spirits, and you want the brush till it's, it's got the mineral spirits on it, but it's not like running and dripping off. If you know, I take my, I kind of dab it on my paper towel, and then I just clean it off the lips and the tongue there. And uh, I do the fingernails and toenails the same way. I, I do the whole doll, and I, I take the, take it off of the uh, fingernails and the toenails. So guys. Another thing, too, I wanted to tell you. Right now, we're still painting on the uh, the um, the soles of the hands. I mean, soles of the feet and the palms of the hands. We're still painting on that. But it won't be long till we won't be doing that. And we'll put a different color on there to make it even lighter. So it won't be too much longer. We won't be painting on this in here. We'll just go on top, you know. So right now, we are. We want it to have some color. I mean, you know. But not a lot. Just a little bit of color. So it won't be long. We'll abandon this. On the on doing the soles and the palms. And we'll just get this started on the hand. This is how I always do it. And I get this right here. Like this. Make sure it's all feathered out. Nice and even. I first get the puddles. Like in here. You know. And then between the fingers. And then there. And I just keep feathering. Keep feathering it. Even in that paint out, making sure that it's all nice and even. And it won't make it splotchy. I also have learned, you use a paintbrush, like stick it in the arm or in the leg. And it helps you to hold on to that little tiny arm when you get down here. You don't want to put your hands up there and hold it like this. So I do it like this. And it helps me to hold it. That's a little trick, I can tell you. Make it a little bit easier on you. Yeah, I've been doing this for 11 years, guys. And... It still amazes me by the time I get done. Sorry, I'm puffing, guys, but I'm tired this evening. Uh, yeah. So, we'll do this. 
start we pounce it out at first remember come over here dab it on our napkin i'm sorry this is the same thing guys and it's, it's getting repetitive but it won't be long we'll be over we're just we're trying to get that skin right now the skin color and it takes many 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 thin light layers so now I'm going to take and get out the puddles, just like I did before. Get the puddles out. And then I'm going to just start brushing over. I've got this brush here. This is a um, three-quarter. I don't know what it is, guys. It's kind of flat, but see that? I don't know what that is. I should have kept my paper and it told me exactly what brushes they are. But I didn't keep it. I threw it in the garbage. I got these at Walmart. Uh, they were 15 something and my goodness they had all kinds of brushes in it i mean like ugh, i don't even know how many brushes several different kinds of brushes in it it was like 15 90 something something like that now we, this is when your paint brush is going to come in handy see this i've got it up there i got my finger in there holding it too and then i'll come here with my thumb I hold it like that and it holds it still you know it's not flopping all over the place but yeah those paint brushes were like fifteen ninety seven, something like that, at Walmart. Got a purple handle. You see them. <clears throat> now mine are stained now, but when you first get them, guys, they're white. See that? Like that. But then once you dip them in the paint, of course they turn that color of the brush does of the paint. But it won't hurt it. You can wash it out with your thinner. It's what I do. I just use them, and then I make sure that they're all cleaned before I go to leave it that evening yeah this is just one more layer and it was the same as two layers so you're gonna have three layers of this same color which is two brushes of faux four and one brush of raw umber <coughs> okay i just do that arm i done done the head you've seen me do it in the other ones if not you can flip if you can't remember just just go back and flip back to the other videos it's the same thing I do the exact same things I'm doing now. Okay, and we'll take my brush and get the puddles. Make sure there's no puddles in the creases. And then we start blending. And we're going to blend that arm right where it came on here. Where we start picked up and started again. But I also go down and blend on all the, uh, the other arm. You know, part of the arm down here, the forearm, and the hand. And yeah. We just make sure that's all blended out really, really even. Guys, please be be very uh, vigilant about doing that. Making sure that there's no buildup in any place and it's all smooth and even. And it will turn out beautiful if you do that. You'll have a beautiful doll when you get done. Then I'm going to put it over here on my drying rack. I don't know if you can see over it. Yeah, you can see over there. And then we'll do a foot and a leg. And then I'll let you go on this one, guys. Now, the next one, we're going to change up the color. But it'll only be changed up just a little bit to what we're doing now. We're going to add a little something else. So, I'll discuss that when we get to our next video. It's the same mix, other than there's something else added to make it a little bit darker. And uh, what that added is, is you're going to do another to add it a little bit darker. You'll do a this same mix, except you'll add another brush but what you do you just keep what you got left over and put a little thinner in it get it going and you're gonna put your tablespoon of, of um, this mix here we're gonna have this same mix but then we're gonna put a tablespoon of a half tablespoon of thinner in here and then another brush of the raw umber so in other words in the whole mix you're gonna be using two brushes of 04 two brushes of, of raw umber but please don't start that guys until I do the next video because um i have to look at the mix and before i you know i want it to look right when you put it on your baby and then i want to make sure i've got that right mix on that i'm telling you the right thing okay um i tried to take notes on last time when i done the last one turned out beautiful by the way i didn't take her down as hard, as dark well i took that one last one it was a big baby you remember i took her down him it was a him sorry him i took him down pretty dark but now the gabby gal she went dark but not real dark it just depends guys on how dark you want to get them this one i'm not sure on yet i don't i still am not sure how far i'm gonna take it down the color darker darker you know 
and I'll do this and then I'll let you guys go and you can finish up this one and then I'll try my best to be back tomorrow guys to give you the next layer uh, the next mix layer and we'll pretty much do the same thing here that we've done here it's the same uh, the you know we'll add that extra but we'll be doing the same thing we'll be brushing it on pouncing it all over collecting it in the creases out taking it back out like the puddles I call them as the creases and the fat rolls I'll show you how to do that one more time go around here behind the hill see all them little creases kind of take it out there don't let it get all built up in there pull it up and build up keep that nice and cleaned out because we will be doing um shade uh what is it your cr uh, creases will be creasing yes we will be doing that sorry guys i'm stumbling over my words son i do that lately i don't that's what i told you i don't know what's going on with me you know I, it's like my words are getting jumbled up on me and sometimes I'll be talking and I can't, I can't think of what I'm talking about. You know, it's like it just leaves my brain. I don't know what's doing that, guys. Don't ask me. Who knows? Anything goes, you know. But, yeah. This is kind of repetitive and boring right now. But we will get to doing some more stuff. We're just trying to get that skin layer. As dark as we want that skin layer to go. And then I'll come up and do the top of the leg. Now, if you want right here and you can't hold it like this, you can always put your paintbrush in like I had in the other. And that will help you to hold it. But now I can do the top of the leg pretty good without putting it in. But if I needed to, I could to hold it better. Guys, there was something happened to me yesterday. I'm going to talk to you again while I'm doing this chatting. There was something happened to me again yesterday. I don't know what's going on. All this stuff happening to me. I don't know why. Just all at once. You know, when they say when it, rain, it rains, it pours. You know that old saying, when it rains, it pours. I'm going to put this in here, actually, to help me out a little. Um, well, you guys, I told you last time, I told you about the scam that went on, or tried to go on with me. Somebody was trying to scam me, but I caught on to them pretty quick. I'm not, I'm not too bad about falling for junk like that. You know, I kind of catch on. It takes me a minute, but I'll catch on like what they're doing, you know. It takes me a little bit. Anyway. I had got my medicine from the doctor, and uh, she had, I went to the doctor, you know, you know how you have to go just ever so often for just, you know, a checkup, they check you up, and check your blood pressure and all this stuff, and, you know, do blood work, just, just a, a random, you know, a, just a, uh, what I have to do all the time, nothing major, so she called me and faxed in my medicine for me, and I went by the drugstore and picked it up. Well, I got to looking, and my bottle had the right name on it for my medicine. But then I looked, and the pills kind of looked different. But sometimes, you know how, I don't know if they do it there, but sometimes our pill color will change. The color will change, the shape will change, you know, something like that. Uh, it will change on us, the, the shape or the color. But usually they put a letter on, note on it, a sticky note saying, you know, this is the same medicine, some of it might look different but it's the same well they did in this one but i still didn't think nothing of it guys so when i got to the truck i just opened them up and i looked on the bottle of course and i noticed they looked kind of different so i looked at the bottle but it had my my prescription name on the bottle and i thought well they're mine maybe they've just changed you know a little bit the shape of it and the only difference was is the one that they gave me had a little slit like you could break it in half or whatever. My other one didn't, and that was the only difference. They were the same size, same color, all that, but it had that slip. And I noted we didn't have it, but I didn't think nothing of it, guys. So I went ahead when I got to the car. Now we do another arm while I'm talking to you. I wasn't going to, but I will do it with you to tell you the story. Um, when I got to the car, I just, you know, I had, I was almost out when I went to the doctor. I only had a few to take that morning, a couple. And uh, so it was getting late in the day by that point, and I took. I said, "Well, I'm just going to take two more, you know, for this evening, and uh, go ahead and take my evening ones." And I just popped them in my mouth and took them. Right. Well, when I got home, I, my husband manages my medicine for me because I tell you why he does this. He puts it out each day for me, guys, because I was at a point till um, I was at a point till. I would get the, I would forget, you know, I, I'm so busy, guys, I'm just so busy, 
and I would forget if I took it or not. And I tell him, I say, did I take my medicine? And I'm then I would be afraid to take it because I thought, oh well, if I didn't want to wind up taking too much, maybe I already took it. So he started just kind of taking over and like putting my pills out for me each day, how many I was supposed to have. And then I could go back and look, and if I already taken it, of course I'd know it by looking at how many was in the bottle or in the thing. So anyway, long story short, I took those and he looked at them and he says, "Honey, this don't this don't look like your medicine." And so my son got a hold of him, and he got to looking at him, and he said, Mom, my son said, this is not what you take. And I'm like, what? He said, this is not your medicine. This, this is not, I don't think. So he said, let me go, and he looked up on uh, meds.com. And you can, he said, look at the numbers on it. So he said, what are the numbers on it? And I told him. He typed it in on meds.com, and it pulled up what they were. They were trazodone. I had no idea what this was, you know, was, you know. Trazodone, 50 milligram trazodone, and it had on my bottle, but my medicine name, and said take two a day, so I took two of them, so it was 100 milligrams I took. Come to find it out, guys, that stuff is used for bipolar, anxiety, uh, depression, but it's also used, they use it for a sedative uh, to not, you know, help you sleep, and uh, so I called the pharmacist and explained all that to him, and I'm like, you know, I've done took two of these. I said, is it going to hurt me? And he said, no, it won't hurt you, but, you know, it might make you sleepy. And I'm like, well, okay. Well, he said, just have your husband and son, or, well, said, just come back out. He said, just come back out and bring it with you and uh, apologize and apologize. You know how they do. I'm sorry. It's just a mix-up, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I said, it's okay. Don't worry. It's an honest mistake. You know, as long as it don't hurt me, it's fine. Well, instead of me going, I just stayed here with the baby, and my granddaughter was here, too, luckily. I stayed here with my grandbaby, and uh, she's two months old, right? And I stayed here, and Stephen, my son, Stephen, and my husband, Lee, went back to the pharmacy to take the medicine back and exchange it. Well, by the time they got back, before they got back, I started looking out through the fields. No, no, I'm telling you wrong. I was sitting on the couch when I first noticed it. I sat down on the sofa, and I had the baby there, and I, I was feeding her. I always put my boppy around me because my arms give out. Holding her, she's getting heavy now. So uh, I had her laid up on the boppy, but she was in my arms, but my arms was laid up on the boppy. And I started looking around, and I could just see, like, I was cross-eyed, maybe. <laughs> you know, like I was seeing double or whatever, and I'm like, my head was getting really dizzy, and I'm like, oh, no. I hope they hurry up and get back. Luckily, my granddaughter was here with me. She's 15. And I said, honey, will you come please get the baby and finish feeding her? I said, because my head's getting really, she knew about it, you know, what had happened. And I said, my head's getting really light. I'm getting really lightheaded. I'm getting like I'm seeing dub double. I'm dizzy. And I don't want to drop the baby, you know, accidentally. Or And I said, there's no way I could get up and try to walk with that baby, you know, my head like that. So I said, would you please get her? and uh, finished feeding her for me and my granddaughter did and I went out on the porch and was standing on the porch trying to get some fresh air you know and I, I'm like well what can I do for this what, how can I help this and my son said uh, you know I've heard that milk if you drink milk it will help to take the some of the that away now a friend had told me after that it was like it coats your stomach is what happens and everything and it kind of helped you know detour it so I thought okay I'm going to run and give me some milk so I went and drank me about a half a glass of milk. I hadn't ate that day. And I took that like on an empty stomach anyway. And I, which I should have known better for that too. But you know how it goes sometimes, guys. You just, you're busy, right? And so, uh, I hadn't eaten either. But early that morning, it was getting late in the day by that time. And uh, I hadn't eaten that mor just that morning, you know, early that morning. And um, so I thought, well, I could eat, maybe if I could eat something, you know, it will help like take it away too you know well i had um i had a little black speck there I had to get off guys i had uh done that and i thought okay this is gonna help me but it didn't it was just getting gradually worse 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 about that time my husband pulled back in with my son and i'm like oh thank god you know they're home thank jesus and uh because i was worried about which my granddaughter's a good babysitter she's 15 and she babysits all the time for people she's real good and I'm like, well, I'm glad they're back, though. 
and uh, it kind of worried me. You know, you never know, guys, about medicine if you're allergic or, you know, if you haven't ever took it, you just don't know how you're going to react. And uh, so uh, I called my doctor in the meantime. We were sitting out on the porch. My daughter and my son and I were sitting out on the porch, and, uh, you know, I was real slurring my words. I went in front of them. I said, come on, let's go sit on the porch for a minute. And I was slurring my words, and uh, my daughter said, yeah, to my son, she's messed up. And my words were getting like real slurred and this and that. And I was getting to where I was like not a lot, not greatly coherent, right? So uh, I finally told him, I said, look, kids, you sit out here on the porch all you want to, as long as you want to, it's fine. Because my daughter had come in that, by that point. And uh, I said, uh, you know, that's fine, but I'm going to have to go lay down. I was getting really sleepy. My eyelids were getting heavy. So anyway, I went to sleep on that stuff. I called my doctor beforehand, believe this or not, I called him and told him what happened and I explained it all. You know, I took two accidentally and all this stuff, well, it hurt me. They didn't call me back till the, today, guys, late in the evening today. If it had been anything, you know, I would have been dead by then if I'd had an aller uh, allergic reaction. Anyway, oh, you know how it goes, these doctors and stuff. Anyway. I went to sleep around, I guess it was around 4 o'clock in the evening. So I was long in there, 4.30. I slept all evening until way late. Then I got up, uh, sat up for just a little while, went back to sleep, slept all night. <laughs> I got up this morning about 9 o'clock. And I said, well, if anything, guys, I got a really good sleep out of it. I slept really well. So I can testify, guys, if anybody needs some sleeping something to help them sleep that'll make you sleep but it'll also make you cross-eyed and um, dizzy and well feel like you're cross-eyed anyway dizzy kind of like you're drunk in a way that's about really that's how i felt kind of like i was drunk and uh so then the the uh, of course the pharmacist apologized again and i went to these people for years for my prescriptions they've been there for oh years and he kept apologizing, kept apologizing. I told him, I said, it's fine. Look, don't worry about it. I'm okay. He called again this morning to check on me. I said, I'm okay. I just, it put, made me sleep a long time. But I said, I slept it off and I'm fine now. And he, he kept apologizing, bless him. And I said, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Because guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do nothing to harm these people. They've been, they've been there for, uh, years i don't even how many years guys long years and years like maybe 50 years 40 40 years something like that 30 i don't know but there's no way out now i always went to them i've always used them and they never done anything like i told them i said it's it was an honest mistake don't let it bother you okay guys that was the last one so i got my little story told to you but word of caution when you get your medicines always check them out and make sure they haven't made a mistake and give you the wrong medicine the right bottle with the wrong medicine in the right bottle okay that's the moral of the story okay guys that's it i got it done so we're going to put this in the oven uh new wave oven is a number a six for eight minutes or you can do a six, 265 degree oven but please do not do it in a oven that you are cooking your food in it does put off chemicals and do it somewhere it's well ventilated i use the new wave I put it on my front porch, and that way I don't get any of those chemical smells. You know, it's outside when I do it. So, everybody, get yours done and do it. Put it in your oven for eight minutes, rotating for eight minutes, rotating the pieces, and then you let it cool. And you make me back here, and we'll go for that next layer. Now we're going to change up the next layer, like I told you, just a little bit, guys. Let's see this. What you got left in the bowl? Left in the bowl. You're going to have some left. Kind of eyeball that. Look at how much thinner you've gotten that. And tomorrow when you come back, you're going to put that same amount of thinner, well, close to it. As close as you can get to it, guys. You can eyeball it. Now, I don't know if you can see there or not, but what I've got left in my bowl. Turn your bowl up and look there and just see about how much you've got there. It doesn't have to be precise. Just, you know, a ball for part figure. And that's what I've got left. When I come back, because by the time I come back tomorrow, guys, my thinners will be th uh, gone. It'll be just the paint in the bowl. So... But I will know how much more to put in it and put it right back in it and save that. Do not throw it away this time, guys, because you're going to need it for your next layer. 
and we're going to add some to that a darker color to that to get our next layer okay all right guys i'll see you soon in your video please consider subscribing guys tell all your friends what i'm doing invite them over to uh paint along with us and uh give me a thumbs up like hit that thumbs up like please if you don't mind it helps me to push out my videos further into youtube land and also if you don't mind uh ring the notification bell so you never miss a video and you can keep up with all these paintings okay all right i'll see you guys next in the next video guys i'll see you tomorrow it won't be long and bring your gloves don't forget darker dolls gloves okay i'll see you then talk to you soon much love to you all bye bye guys